Hi everyone, Coach Sabina here. So I hope you are doing well. Uh, hopefully you are having a positive experience. So in today's topic, I would like to cover a 10 step liver cleanse. So I did a poll last night and it uh, seems like everybody was interested in liver detox and they were interested in healthy tips and there was a third item as well. But anyway, so today I would like to address the liver cleanse and I wanted to create this video for all of you. So anyway, uh, so every person's health is actually dependent upon how their body removes the toxins, right? We all know what toxins are and what they can do to our body. They are very bad uh, for our body and if you don't do your daily uh, practice to remove them out of your system, eventually they stay somewhere in your body and start causing problems later on. And it doesn't happen overnight uh, for any kind of chronic disease, for anything to develop in your body, it takes time, right? So with everything that is going on in today's, today's, today's world, like the environment, right, the pollution, the water being polluted, uh, the toxic uh, uh, cosmetics we're putting in our body, right, the skin is our li largest our organs, the toxins from the food industry, don't get me started on the processed foods and the foods that it's in the box, right, all of those have all sorts of things in order to preserve, preserve that food on the shelf so you can stay in the store for many months and many years. Um, most of us require some, some type of detox, right, uh, program to get rid of these uh, toxins uh, build up in our body. I was one of them. I actually worked very hard to get rid of those toxins in my liver and I will cover that shortly in a bit. Uh, so the, la the, the, the best uh, organ to cleanse toxins is our liver, right? So we all want to cleanse our liver, we want to support our liver, and we want to make sure that our liver is working 100%. There are a lot of people whose liver is not working 100%, and I know that the conventional medicine and doctors don't really look at it that way. They will look at your liver enzymes and they're going to say everything is fine. Even if the numbers are a little bit close to being elevated, they're going to say it's fine. Well, if the numbers are even close to being elevated, that means your liver is not working 100%. And in order for your liver to protect you from these toxins, it has to work 100%, okay? Uh, that's the only way. Uh, <clears throat> and the liver is actually the hardest working organ in our body. So uh, it works to detoxify our blood. It uh, helps produce the bile um, to digest the fats, to break down the hormones and carbs. And it also stores essential vitamins and minerals uh, and uh, iron. So, um, so if you're like me, having issues like with digestion or your, your liver may not, may, may not be working, maybe it is nothing in your stomach that you're thinking, it's some, something related to your stomach, it could be a liver that it's not working, right? Or if you're having issues with the lower iron, uh, or you had it for cro uh, chronic uh, le low levels for years, uh, it's possible that your liver is not working. And if you have issues with your liver, uh, here are some of the risk factors. So low potassium levels. So a lot of people who have that, they probably have issues with liver. Um, heavy alcohol abuse, of course, we all know that alcohol is not good for our liver. Exposure to certain industrial chemicals or chemicals in your home, like when you're cleaning, the cleaning agents, they all have chemicals. So that's why I had gone five, six years ago, I had gone completely uh, chemical free in my house and I don't, do not use any chemicals at all. Um, <clears throat> viral infections, those are some of the risk factors. You could be prone to those. Autoimmune diseases, and there are tons of people that I know that have autoimmune diseases. So this is not just something, you know, uh, rare disease. There are tons of people who have it and your liver could be the cause for it as well. Uh, high levels of triglycerides, right? You go to a doctor, you check your cholesterol, and he tells you your triglycerides are high. Well, your liver might be um, uh, at fault here. Uh, Tylenol prescription. I know a lot of people when they have colds and flus and they have a high fever, the first thing that they do, they go to Tylenol because they, they need to get that fever done. 
uh, down. Uh, well, guess what? When you have a fever, your, fe your body is basically just telling you that there's something your body is fighting against, either a viral or bacterial or whatever it's going on. But Tylenol might just help with that uh, onset relief uh, of that high fever. But if your fever is not going above 103, I would say for adults, then you really don't need to take anything. What you need to do, you need to replenish your body with fluids, you need to take some rest, and you need to take care of you, okay? So the Tylenol actually prescription and the taking it too much can actually cause, to have, cause you to have liver issues. So uh, following symptoms are uh, possible uh, signs that you have a liver disease or liver condition or liver that it's not working. So bloating and gas, this is common for people, right? Acid reflux and heartburn. So those are some of the uh, symptoms. Uh, constipation, um, that was actually me. I was constipated most of my life and I had to work really hard to undo that uh, issue in my body. Uh, weight loss, uh, you're having hard issue, or a hard time losing weight, right? So it could be associated to your liver. High blood pressure, dark urine. So next time when you go pee, make sure you look at your urine and see what color it is. If it's dark urine as well, then it could indicate that you are dehydrated too. Uh, chronic fatigue, excessive sweating, bruise, bru you're bruising easily, and you have a poor appetite, right? So here's a 10 step liver, liver cleanse, what I would recommend as a health coach and person who has been dealing with liver issues for the past five years, right? So remove toxin, uh, toxic foods from your diet. So you need to step away from those processed foods, um, the foods that are in the boxes, the foods that sit on, sit on a shelf, right? So you need to get away from those. So hydrogenated oils, that's, uh, that those would be oils. I would say you have to get out of your style and your diet. Refined sugar, they're not good for you. Convenience foods such as lunch meats are notoriously toxic to our system, especially if you're buying those deli products that have nitrates and nitrites. Those are very damaging for our liver. So that's the step one, right? You want to remove those foods. Then you want to drink raw vegetable juices or make green smoothies that are uh, loaded with ton of, tons of fiber. So raw vegetables, juices can provide your body with more vegetable servings without having that uh, digestion working really hard, right? That would be the one benefit, I guess, of the raw juices. But I like uh, green smoothies because they have tons of fiber, because they will help you if you're constipated. They will certainly help you there because you need to ensure that your green smoothies are loaded with fiber, like lots of greens, very little fruit, and lots of flavor and superfoods. Uh, I have tons of videos on my Facebook page and you can certainly find it there. And I'm happy to share some re recipes in this community and this group as well. But, um, so green smoothies will work for those people who need to add some fruit and fiber to the, their diet. Um, I prefer those because I have actually do them every day and they're wonderful for my body and I know that I feel the best when I take them. Um, so, and then I will also actually share three of my favorite juices with you in a different post. Uh, and what what those recipes are. Um, I ended up going on a Gerson therapy as part of my healing journey, and that's where I was juicing. I was juicing, I was juicing, I was drinking nine juices a day, and I was doing um, another step in this liver cleanse that I will touch base a little bit. So just just be patient with me here. I will cover it shortly. So that would be the part number two, right? Drink raw vegetables and incorporate green smoothies into your daily lifestyle. Number three, load yourself with potassium foods. Um, so for instance, you could be uh, switching to sweet potatoes as, as opposed to regular potatoes. They're loaded with potassium, even more than banana. They have more potassium than banana. The other food is the banana, of course. You can eat, start eating more bananas. And another reason why I actually put banana in my smoothie every day is because of potassium levels and because I like the taste of banana as well. Um, beet greens, uh, so it's those little top greens that you have on the beets, um, those are wonderful. You can actually buy beets with greens, you can use the beets in cooking or you can make juice from beets and you can use the top greens to make your green smoothie. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see what else uh, on here do I have? Yes, spinach. Spinach is a big one. I make smoothies with spinach, with kale, with Swiss chard, whatever I have in my house. Uh, beans. <laughs> If you, can, uh, if you can digest them, beans are wonderful for you if your body will digest them. If you notice when you eat beans you get gassy and bloated, then that means your body is not designed to digest them properly. I had tried absolutely everything in my, in my power to be able to digest beans and I just cannot. It doesn't matter what I do with them, it doesn't matter how I cook them, it doesn't matter if I put uh, uh, seaweed in it to help break down. Uh, these beans a little bit so I can digest them better. If I soak them, it doesn't help. It doesn't matter what I do. Beans are toxic for me and my body cannot digest them. So you might be one of those people too. And if you are, you really need to stay away from them because they're slowing down your body and how your body works. Number four, perform um, castor oil pack. And I will be demonstrating here uh, this, this soon for all of you to do it. I've actually done this for many months when I was on my healing journey and it's wonderful because the castor oil actually works on your skin. So when you put this pack on like, like let's say on your liver side, it will actually draw those toxins out. And how I did it, I would put this pack at night and I would keep it all night while I was sleeping. Right, it's oil, so I had to protect it with the plastic foil. I would wrap all of that around me uh, with the plastic foil. But like I said, I will create a separate video just for that. For those of you who are, who are interested and who, who have issues with liver, I would definitely suggest castor oil pack is the must. And it's, it's great for you because you can put a hot water bottle on it too, so to keep you warm. Um, and, and the warmth actually helps uh, the, 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 the pores open a little bit more, the castor oil goes in and takes those uh, toxins out of your body. Uh, number five, this is the one that I said I was going to touch base later, is the coffee enema, right? So don't get scared when I say coffee enema, it's not a bad thing, guys. I truly believe that coffee enema was the only thing that helped me in my, in my life on my healing journey to help me uh, reverse and make that change in, in, in what was going on in my body. And my liver was loaded with toxins and that's what coffee enema did for me. Uh, it, it's wonderful, you don't need to be afraid of it. Uh, I actually did it for two months, straight two months when I was on this Gerson therapy with the juices. So for every time that you do one coffee enema, you have to drink three of these juices uh, that I will share recipes with you. Um, because what you actually do, you're emptying everything that you have in your body uh, because you, you, you keep that coffee inside of your uh, body and when 15 minutes later when you're ready to expel all of that, everything goes out, even the liquids and all of that. So to prevent uh, dehydration, you must drink these juices with coffee enema. So for my healing journey, I ended up doing two months of that, three times a day, three times a day, coffee enema and nine juices a day. I was going through 25 to 30 pounds of carrots a week just to make these juices that I need to support my body. But there's a lot more to the get Gerson therapy, but we can share that. I can share that information some other time. Uh, the number six is uh, you need to take supplements. You can take milk thistle, you can take turmeric, you can take dandelion. Uh, all of those supplements are available at health food store, stores. And there are some um, uh, supplement manufacturers that, that have all three of those into one pill, which is wonderful for liver detox. And I actually take that one. It's really great for you. So milk thistle will actually help you build, uh, eliminate the buildup of heavy metals in your body. And that's a big one now these days with people. Uh, there's a lot of research out there uh, done by holistic doctors. And I know uh, some of the medical facilities in Baja, Mexico, who actually do this. And every time when the cancer patient co comes in, they do their blood work. They notice that they have a lot of heavy metals in their body. So detox is important for us guys, not just to help our liver, but uh, well, it's important to help our liver because the liver will detox our body, but it's also important because uh, heavy metals and all these things that stay in our body are causing long-term diseases like cancer and some of these other chronic diseases, right? Um, so let's see, the other item I wanted to mention in this one is chloral, chlor 
Arela, Corolla, I can't even pronounce it. I always have a hard time. But anyway, it's a green pill and I can share it with you and I can tell you what it is and spirulina. Spirulina is actually what I use every day in my green smoothie. It's a powder form and I put it in my green smoothie. The other item, Chlorella, is actually in, um, in a pill form and I take 10 of them a day uh, for additional liver detox. I do a lot of stuff to support my liver and my body because that was my issue. Uh, number seven, you have to drink plenty of water. You need to replenish that water. You need to have the water so you can have proper uh, uh, toxins removal because that's what it will do because your kidneys will work and your body will be flushing out. So if you're not drinking water, you need to work on that and trying to uh, improve that, and uh, um, trying to improve that, right? Um, so, uh, eat, uh, so eat a ton of uh, fiber. That's another one that I say. Uh, I know when you're doing like specific liver detox, there's no fiber because what they want to do, they want to make sure that your body is not, di not digesting a whole lot, it's resting, so you can promote this uh, liver detoxification. But depending what program you use, the steps that I'm sharing with you are very easily incorporated into your diet, into your lifestyle, into your daily life. So this is not a special 10-day cleanse that you do, right? This is a 10-step liver cleanse that you can do ongoing for, for many months and many years if you need to, right? Um, and it's something that you can just sort of uh, take it as your ha ha life lifestyle. So you don't have to do anything special. Let's say go on a 10-day diet where you just eat these certain foods and drink this to promote that liver detoxification. What I'm talking about here is a 10-step liver cleanse that you can promote every single day if you do some of these steps. And maybe you don't do all of them at once. Maybe you just incorporate a couple and you stick to them and then you add a couple more until you get comfortable with all of them. So eat ton of fiber to promote elimination. I always talk about elimination and how important it is for our well-being because if you're not emptying those toxins, the buildup, which is in your colon, where your body is supposed to empty all these toxins, then all of those toxins are staying in your body and causing all this disease and stuff in your body. So elimination cycle is very important and I would say it's at most important for all of us. And I know tons of people who don't even go every day. I would say the ideal is to go twice a day, uh, but there are some people who don't go even for a couple days. So that is just horrendous. I cannot even imagine not being able to go to the bathroom for a couple days. Um, so going to the bathroom is important for your well-being. You have to put that in your mind, mind and you have to change that mindset that going to the bathroom is important and it's normal that you have to go at least once a day if you don't go every day then there's something already wrong in your body and you need to address it okay so the other way that you can do you can do whey shakes um i absolutely love whey shakes i've been doing them for three years as a matter of fact today i just ordered two bags of it because i ran out and i'm already panicking today was my last shake i had so i'm gonna have to stick stick and survive without it for three days. But I absolutely love whey shakes. Um, they, according to the research, the whey protein is ideal to help increase the glutathione levels in your liver. And I know that's more scientific than it needs to be, but glutathione is really important because it's the greatest antioxidant that your body can produce, okay? Because it's in every cell. But the, in order to produce that, you need to give certain foods to your body so the, the glutathione reactions can happen in your body, right? So, um, and the glutathione level uh, actually is known to help fight cancer uh, and this, various diseases. It can help you uh, help boost your immune system and it can help increase your metabolism, which means weight loss, right? Everybody wants to have a fast metabolism. And uh, you can get uh, whey actually from yogurt and kefir. So if you make your own yogurt or kefir at home, that liquid where you're made, the yogurt is being made is what whey is actually, what whey is. It's just the powder form that they make it in these industries that make the whey from the uh, dairy. Um, it's basically 
um, many years ago it was actually waste from the dairy product products um, they would they were wasting all of that and it, they were just uh, not using it now there's all this way out there that they're basically just making supplement out of it and they're making this wonderful powder which is wonderful for you it's great for your body and number 10 and I need to cut it short because my video is already 20 minutes and I really didn't want it to go this long but trust me I could probably talk about this for 10 days uh, so the miracle cleanse I don't know if any of you know about this but the miracle cleanse is basically you take apple cider vinegar you take maple syrup and you take uh, cayenne pepper and you mix all those all those uh, three items in the water together and then you make this drink that you drink so you can take eight ounces of water one teaspoon of vinegar or two if you can tolerate two and one teaspoon of maple syrup and dash of cayenne depending on how spicy you like it mix it up and drink it and that's the master cleanser it's the best cleanser out there that you can take it out every day all you need is just that one glass the other and lastly uh, I wanted to mention is the warm uh, lemon water that's another one that you can do that will certainly help and promote the well-being if you do it in the morning first thing when you wake up right first thing when you wake up before you even brush your teeth or anything just go straight into your kitchen and make this warm lemon water and what you basically do you just warm up water a little bit lukewarm you add some lemon you squeeze some freshly squeeze lemon into it and you add some cayenne pepper and you can get creative you can actually add a little bit turmeric powder or turmeric extract which is also great for anti-inflammatory you mix all that together and you drink it first thing in the morning it's wonderful for you it's it really is a great uh, detoxifier anyway so these are some of my tips and things that I have like I said I could probably talk about this for another two three days ten days possibly um, because I have tons of information about this and I will be sharing more information about um, the juices and things that I said in this video so just stay t stay uh, stay tuned and be patient I will share all that information when the time is right when I have a little bit of time away from my family anyway have a great day and I hope you find this useful ciao